The new, uh, the new roller, um, we're calling it the painless uh, roller. And if you can see, um, gosh, this is kind of tricky. Okay. You can definitely see a difference um, in, the, in the needle depth, right? It's, uh, everything's backwards on the uh, camera. Um, but the reason that led to the development of the, pain, uh, the painless roller was, you know, the, the original roller um, is, is great. Um, and we're, we're, it's not going anywhere. Um, you know, I've been using that same roller and same design for, gosh, probably eight years. Um, so it's great. It's, it's, it's fantastic. It works really well. Um, but the idea behind the painless roller was, um, you know, our probably one of our most common questions what, around the original roller was, you know, asking about the pain, asking about numbing cream. Um, <clears throat> and guys, I found myself even, it definitely, it definitely is, you know, it's, it, it doesn't feel good. Let's, I mean, let's not sugarcoat it. It definitely is, can be painful. Um, your scalp definitely does get used to it. And I've used it, like I said, for years. Um, but the idea behind the new painless roller was, um, would it be possible to make a roller? Um, and the, this was the criteria, and it had, to ma it had to meet all this criteria for us to launch it. But the idea was, would it be possible to make a roller that was equally as effective, um, but reduce the level of pain? Um, so I've been working on it now for, for I mean, several months um, and really kind of kept it under wraps before talking about it. But because, again, I wanted to make sure that um, that we could meet the criteria because if we couldn't make it as equally as equally or more effective than the original roller, I didn't want to come out with it. So we did a lot of testing, we did a lot of measuring um, uh, the different needle lengths and different patterns and configurations, um, and I think we really nailed it. So um, and we shipped it out to some people in the group, um, you know, longtime customers, and got customer feedback and got them to use it. Um, and and every every buddy that's used it, the feedback has been fantastic. Um, and I've been using it myself and, and it makes a world of difference. So the idea guys is, um, the needles are ever so slightly. And again, if you look at this, if you look at this, um, they're not really much, um, they're not, I mean, it's really, really a small difference, a uh, very, very small difference. Um, but what that allows us to do um, is it still allows the, the needles to penetrate the epidermis um, and increase the absorption of the topical solution. Um, and also, um, if you guys know that, you know, I wrote about this in the book, but by using the roller, it also creates micro trauma, micro damage to the area. And the body sends natural healing mechanisms, just like if you twist your ankle, the, the ankle swells with blood flow. Um, and that's the body's way of healing itself. Um, and as you guys know, blood or hair loss is caused by a blood flow restriction to the hair follicle. So by using this, it does two things. It increases the absorption and efficacy of the topical solution by making it uh, more powerful, getting to the hair follicle. Um, and also it creates the micro trauma, which naturally increases blood flow um, and collagen production to the hair follicle. And I mean, Somebody commented in the group last uh, last week asking, you know, is does just the brushing and the rolling um, have benefit? And absolutely, 100%, it does have benefit. Um, and I'm more confident than ever that the rolling is extremely important if you guys want to have optimal optimal results, especially if you're trying to have a lot of regrowth. Um, so it's not critical, I don't think, to maintain your results. Um, but if you're trying to to have more regrowth, it's it's absolutely it's absolutely critical to um, to your results. So, um, the, the roller is dramatically, I mean, dramatically, dramatically, uh, less painful, um, than the original roller. And, um, the good news was, like I said, the goal was to create a roller that was equally, equally as effective. Um, I honestly, starting out with the idea, I didn't think that it would be possible to actually make it more effective. Um, but I think what we've really done is by making it less painful, um, you're able to roll a lot more, a longer duration, and a lot more consistent um, and more frequently. So I think actually by using the tech, by using the painless roller, I do I'm for sure it's equally effective. But I honestly think that it's it's more effective um, because it allows it allows us to be more consistent and roll for longer. Um, so I'm going to show you how I've been rolling um, and um, and give you some techniques on what I've what I've discovered over the last few months using it. Um, 
So, so again, guys, the roller is, you always use the roller before you apply the topical solution. You want to, you want to do it on dry hair, dry scalp. Um, if you just get out of the shower, make sure that you tie drought or tie, uh, towel dry your hair as much as possible. Um, and you know, make sure that your, your scalp is dry. Cause if not, when you put on the topical solution, it's just going to water it down and it's not going to, it's not going to be as effective. So the way that I use the roller and I'm rolling, I'm rolling every other day. Uh, we've had a lot of questions. How often can I roll? Honestly, guys, I think you can roll every day if you wanted to, I think every other day is extremely effective. And what you'll notice is, um, the next day your scalp will be completely healed. Um, so it is, you can definitely roll more frequency with the original roller. I recommend every three days. I know people roll more often than that. Um, but you know, with the original roller, I was finding myself not even being as consistent. Um, because I mean, because it was painful, right? It, it hurt. And I was finding myself, um, kind of, you know, dreading having to use the roller. So I wasn't being as consistent. And now it's like, honestly, you really, some people it's painless, right? So it, it uh, painless, it's not completely painless, but it's like, I don't think it hurts at all. Um, and I'm going to show you that now. And I'm going to show you the most effective way to use to roll with this new roller. Um, because I, 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 the technique is definitely a little bit different than the original one. Um, so I always start guys, I just got a haircut, by the way, hair's really short, um, which feels kind of nice. But so I, I hold the roller like this. Um, I hold it from the back and my thumb kind of on this piece right here. And I start in the back. So as I roll around and um, so I start in the back and I go over the entire area. And I mean, this literally does not hurt at all. Um, and you can, you can, I can hear and feel the needles actually puncturing the epidermis. I can feel it um, and hear it, but it's not painful. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely going around the area, around the crown here. Um, and I'm going back and forth. So I go one way, I start with one way going this way. And you guys, you can do this for, for quite a while. I mean, a couple of minutes, but the goal, which I'm going to show you when I get to the front of my head is you actually want to create some redness and even, even seeing some blood and like little pinpricks of blood, that's okay. And honestly, that's, that's a really good sign. Um, and that's kind of how we, how we narrowed in on the, on the depth of the needles was it, it does, it does have to get through the epidermis. It does have to, um, you know, trigger that body's healing response and, and the little, you know, little baby blood specks are, are a sign that it is getting through the epidermis and where it needs to go. So, so forwards, backwards over the entire crown. I mean, my hair, I used to have a really balding crown. Um, and thankfully I hope you guys can see this. Um, my crown is, is doing really well and thick and healthy. Um, so like I've said before in the other training videos, I kind of split my head into two different Halves. I do the back and then I do the front. So then when I get to the front, um, I'm prone to thinning hair and hair loss in, in this area, in the front, middle, and in the temples. So um, I'm going over the roller just like this and got like this used to, if I was pushing and I'm pushing, you know, with a pretty good amount of pressure, but this literally does not hurt at all. Um, and I'm going back and forth, back and forth over this entire area anywhere. So I basically, I'll show you, but I did the back. I, I essentially do every area on the top of the scalp and the temples and I'll do the temples next. Um, but I'm going over this area back and forth. I've done it so many times. I really don't need a mirror to do it. Um, but I cover this entire area back and forth. And now with this, like, you know, before I would do it to the point where, you know, like the minimum dose effect, you know, to, I did it the minimum amount of time just because it, it, you know, was, was very uncomfortable, but with this, it's like, it doesn't hurt at all. Um, you know, I'm rolling a lot more and a lot more consistently and I'm, and I'm rolling more often. So if you could see in here, um, thankfully my hair is, is thick in this area. Um, but I'm going to show you, so you can really, really roll. And I mean, I'm pushing hard. I'm rolling over this area dramatically. So by using this roller and rolling more, you know, for a longer duration, you're making more micro punctures in the scalp. Um, so I don't know if you can see it, but it, it's, I mean, red, there's some redness in there. Um, and, and, um, you know, definitely some, some blood, blood shot. So then I come over here to the, to the hairline and I'm going to go, I'm going to go around the hairline. This is kind of tricky without the mirror. Um, but now I'm going to go cross section and I'm going to come over to this hairline. middle um 
And then I'm going to come over to this temple. So there was literally, I had no hair here whatsoever, this entire area. This is completely regrown by using the roller. But I'm going to show you what you guys can do here. Um, because this is where the hair is the shortest. That's also why I got my hair cut so you guys can zoom in here and really see what's going on. Because I wanted to show you what I'm talking about with it being um, red and seeing some blood. So I'm, I'm rolling, you know, for multiple strokes here, back and forth, back, back and forth, relatively quickly. Um, and if I was doing this before, I would be, I would be lying if I said I wasn't in, uh, I try to be tough for you guys, but it was definitely painful. This one, um, but you can still see here, right? So you can see there's redness and even some little blood specks here. That's, that's to the level that you want to get it to. You don't have to go completely that. I just wanted to show you, um, you know, what you can do still with this roller in that that's the reason why it's so effective. It's getting still to where it needs to go. Um, but it is, it is not, um, it's not causing pain. And this is the most, uh, for me at least, this is the most sensitive um, area of my entire scalp is right here in the temples. So can I feel the needles? Yes, I can definitely feel it. But I mean, I'm pushing completely all the way in and, and it's like extremely manageable. Whereas if the, the previous roller was a 10, I'd say this is like a one or two on the pain scale. But I mean, it's dramatically, dramatically, dramatically different. So, so that's how I rolled. Um, I probably spent, how many minutes did I spend there? Probably two, three, four, five minutes. Um, but the, the idea and the point is, guys, you can roll a lot more. And you're, you're creating a lot more micropunctures in the scalp um, without, without um, having the pain and, um, and the recovery with this is is literally overnight. So your your scalp will be healed the next day. Um, so I recommend, you know, can you use it every day? Yes, you can use it every day before you apply the topical, but I would still recommend giving it your day, you know, every other day is, is the protocol that I would recommend with the new roller. Um, and then after you roll, you know, we still, we, we have a lot of new members in the group and we get a lot of questions from new customers. Um, you know, after you roll, you roll first and then you apply the topical solution, right? So, so I just prepared the scalp. I just prepared my scalp for, um, for the topical solution to really penetrate the epidermis and to get to where it needs to go. Um, and you want to apply the topical solution immediately after you roll. Um, and David asked, am I pushing harder than with the other roller? Um, I'm, I probably am pushing a little bit harder. You can push as hard as you want but you're not going to go any deeper than, um, than the needle. So, I mean, guys, we spent a lot of time, a lot of, lot of time dialing in the perfect depth, uh, for these needles, um, in consideration of the epidermis and the hair follicle. Um, so no matter how hard you push David, it's only going to go a certain depth of the epidermis, but you can push pretty hard. Um, because again, uh, it's, it's, it's literally painless. Um, it's, I'm not, I don't want to tell you it's, you're not going to feel anything. You will feel just, you know, a little bit, but it's not painful, at least for me. Um, and the people that have used it so far, um, it's not bad whatsoever. Um, let's see. We got another question here. Luke said, um, so you're actually pressing fairly hard then. I think I've been rolling too lightly. Still gets red, but I haven't seen the blood in a long time. Yeah. So, um, so you can, um, you can roll until you do see blood because, no matter what you do, and even with the other roller, you're not going to damage the hair follicle. I mean, we made sure that the, I mean, that the depth of the needles is, you know, it's designed to go through the epidermis, but to not do any damage to the hair follicle. This is, is ever so slightly shorter, guys. It's, it's actually not that much shorter in the needles, um, but with the nerves in the scalp, it's, it's like the perfect depth to have the full efficacy and the results um, without, you know, with the least amount of pain. So it's, I mean, it is... I, Personally, I think it's a, it's going to be a huge breakthrough for us. And I think you guys are going to love it um, because the, uh, you know, one of our, you know, the biggest, you know, questions and, and concerns people have is, man, the roller hurts. Um, and it definitely does, you know, I, uh, it definitely isn't the most pleasant experience, but this is going to be, this is going to be completely night and day from, from the old experience. Um, so you can roll, you can roll more often. You can roll till you, you should roll till, till you see that it's red here. So you can see that my scalp is pretty red here, um, I'm not sure. Um, but but this this thing is extremely, extremely important um, for if, for you guys if you wanna have the best results. There's no doubt about it. You will not have the same amount of results if you're not rolling as you will, uh, or excuse me, you will not have the same amount 
um, or the quality of results without rolling as you as you will rolling. Um, so again, this is this is the new roller. It's it's out now. It's it's on our site. We've been shipping them out. Um, everything is going very very smoothly. They've been tested multiple times, um, and I think we nailed it. And um, we will continue to um, at least for now. We're going to continue producing the original roller because. Um, I think this the, the the painless roller works for I would the majority of people, but um, for women um, or for men that have really long hair, like really long thick hair, um, and they want to make sure the needles get to the scalp. If there's a distance of the hair and the hair is really thick and long, um, they still may find that the the original roller, uh, because of that added depth, um, the original roller still um, you may need to to get through the the hair and have the, enough depth to get to the um, to the scalp. But if you you know with that same with that same thing being said, if you have long thick hair, you can still separate. You can still go like this and separate, and then just roll there. Um, or kind of what I you know what I've done is you can just kind of move the hair out of the way. But um, you know my hair's short, my hair's thick, um, and like I said, as you roll, you'll be able to see that your scalp's getting red. Um, and that's, that's what you want, want to look for guys. You want your scalp to be uh, uh, a little red. Um, and that way you'll know that you're, that you're using the roller, um, or that your the, the roller is long enough and it's getting to where it needs to go and you're rolling for a, a long enough period of time. Um, so I hope that, uh, I hope that covers the, the new roller. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any other questions. Um, Seth asks, is it available now? Yes, it's available now guys. So, um, when you go to the site. Um, you'll there's there'll be options right so it'll say uh, choose what roller model that you want and you'll see the original and then or actually you'll see the painless first and it's you know it's very evident which one it is it says painless in all caps and in parentheses it says new and then the other roller the original is is right there the original so you get to choose between which ones um, that you want um, and also we've made it available in, in every kit as well so with the kit you used to just choose the topical formula which topical formula you wanted um, but now you choose the topical formula and then you have the option to choose whatever roller you want as well. So for kit two and three, um, you'll be, you'll see that the, the painless roller right in the description, um, under the topical formula. Um, so it is available and, um, and they have been, um, they've been without talking about it, they've been, they've been flying off the shelf. So I think everybody's been really happy with it. We've got a lot of positive feedback. Um, and I think you guys are really, really going to like it. So again, the goal was to make the roller, you know, as painless as possible, but without, I would not again, results, you know, in my perspective, in my opinion, results are, are my number one, um, you know, determining factor. And I use these products for myself, right? So Adigen, honestly, Adigen is me just sharing what I've created for myself. Adigen was created for me, um, and myself over this long 20 year journey, um, but uh, the last thing I would have done was make a new product that was less effective. So it is dramatically less painful, um, but I honestly think it is actually gonna be more, um, more effective than even the original roller. Not because, um, not because the roller, not because the really, that the needles are um, shorter, but the fact that you'll be able to roll more and you'll be able to roll more consistently. Um, and you're by the fact that you're being able to roll for a longer period of time um, and more surface area, you're actually creating more micro trauma, and you'll, you're actually getting more benefit um, by rolling more. So all the benefits uh, without the pain. So I hope you guys love it. I'm super um, I'm super thankful for it myself because, like I said, I was being a little inconsistent um, with the with the original roller just because the pain. Um, but it is it's on the site. Um, we should have enough in stock, I think, for everybody. Um, and, uh, and things are going, things are going great. So again, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving holiday. Um, uh, you know, wish everybody a happy Hanukkah, happy holiday season. Um, and, um, super grateful for you guys and, and really excited, um, for everything that's going on. So, uh, go ahead and comment in the group or, you know, under this, or you, uh, if there's any other questions, I'll make sure to address them, but I think I covered everything now. Um, um, so Keith asked, do you think the roller is effective still if I'm just using the shampoo and the brushes currently? Uh, Keith, I, I mentioned this earlier in the, in the conversation and absolutely, um, absolutely that I even saw, um, you know, we're working on and um, doing some studies and, um, and I saw a recent study 
um, talking about, you know, different um, micro trauma to the area and just by using the roller, just by using the roller. And I got another question about somebody that had frontal fibrosis um, alopecia. Um, so again, guys, hair loss is caused by a blood flow restriction to the hair follicle. By using this roller, what it's doing, yes, it, it helps increase the absorption and the effectiveness of the topical solution because it's getting, you know, the skin, the outer layer of your skin is called the epidermis. It's basically designed as a protective barrier. So when you're applying a topical, it's designed to keep that topical out, just like it's designed to keep other harmful um, things in, in our environment from getting into our body. Um, but by using the roller, it, it creates micro channels, micro pores in the, in the skin to allow the topical solution to penetrate um, at a greater efficacy than without. Um, but also it's creating micro trauma and micro damage to that area. And the way that the body heals any type of injury is by sending blood flow because blood flow carries all of our oxygen, our nutrients, our vitamins and minerals. Um, and that is why, uh, you know, when, when your hair follicle is not getting the blood flow, it starts thinning and thinning and thinning until the hair follicle is so weak, um, it cannot produce, uh, hair. So, um, it will a absolutely without a shadow of a doubt, um, have benefit, even if you don't use a topical solution, obviously you'll have a much better effect with using the topical solution because that's actually inhibiting um, the androgens from attaching to the hair follicle. Um, but yes, you will have results with just using the brush or the roller um, or in combination with the shampoo.